is Kane Velasquez. Keep listening to The Roman Show. Ralph Roman of The Roman Show here with UFC heavyweight champion contender Kane Velasquez. Kane, welcome again man, to the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you here. Uh, you were actually in Miami about a year or so? About a year ago. So, yeah. so tell me about coming back to Miami and uh, the, the climate, the weather, the food. Last time I, I, I spoke to you, I uh, invited you to a Cuban coffee and you weren't a fan of it. No, it wasn't. Um, it's just too, it was too strong for me, you know. I'm not a big coffee drinker. Uh, it's just like asterisk. <laughs> but I heard, I heard if you keep drinking it, you kind of get used to it, so I'll try it again. Um, coming back to Miami is great, you know. The, the scenery, the, the weather is great, you know. Uh, coming right now from, from Northern California, wintertime, it's cold, it's raining, so it's definitely, you know, nice change of the We have a short stay today. You're, 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 last time did you hit the beach or did you go out to Lincoln Road or any of these places? I went to Lincoln Road, yeah. The last time I was here, um, I think I was here for two days or so. So and then I had my wife with me, so we were able to just kind of relax and do some stuff like that, and, uh, do some scenic stuff. But uh, today, yeah, it's all all business. And well, let's talk about the fight, December 29th, UFC pay per view. You're fighting JDS. Who unfortunately, gave you the first loss of your career. Let's go back to that night. Uh, it was the first Fox show, national TV. Everyone was talking about it. Uh, everyone was excited about it. It was the first time that the UFC was going to be on Fox. And some folks weren't happy because it was a short fight. And of course, you weren't happy because of the results. Yeah. Take me back to that night. Uh, you know, that night, yeah, I went in. You know, I think, you know, us had, we had a game plan. And me, I didn't have a, a big sense of urgency to execute it. So I waited out too long on the outside, and um, you know, just, you know where, where, where Junior is, uh, is dangerous. So I mean, that's what happened. And, you know, it was all, all part of my fault. And, uh, you know, gladly have a, have a chance to, you know, for redemption. Which, which exactly is what I was going to be my question. You know that you're, you're, you're just phenomenal on the ground with your wrestling skills. You decided to stand up with JDS as power. And at that point, what, what was it that you said, you know, let, let, me, let, me, let me test him too? What was it that, that triggered you to say that, to think about that? It just, you know, no sense of urgency, didn't feel like it was, uh, you know, I didn't feel like you know, any threat. I didn't feel like he was that fast or anything else. But, you know, with, um, having those heavy hands and, you know, connecting with the punch like that, I mean, yeah, that was good. So. This time around, though, in your training camp, what have you been working on? Your last point was. Bigfoot Silva, you were successful in that fight. Uh, JDS last fought Frank Mir. Both of you guys have just had one fight uh, since the last time you guys met. Yeah. And here you are meeting again. In fact, both of you fought in that same pay-per-view. And here you are meeting yourself. So what, what changes have you done in your training uh, to get this defeat against uh, JDS? You know, this, I mean, the game plan is the same. But, you know, now we're thinking, hey, if we have a game plan, we need to execute it. So, I mean, that's all we, you know, we, we, we've been doing is training really hard, um, just following through the game plan every day, every day, and knowing that if we get in that situation where we need a full trigger, we'd have to do it. Coming now <clears throat> in December, uh, from here on out, you, you got the holidays, which is, I'm sure on your end, it's a little, a little challenging because, yeah. especially, you know, we're Latinos and we know about the food when it comes yeah. to the Noche Buena. Uh, is that going to be a challenge for you? Um, you know, for us, um, talk to my wife, we're not really going to do um, Christmas until maybe after the fight. I think because the day after Christmas, that's the last big is for the fight. So, you know, my mind's not going to be in the whole Christmas spirit kind of thing. I'm going to be thinking about the fight. So, we talked about it and we said, you know, afterwards, after the fight, we'll go back home and we'll, we'll do the whole Christmas thing. You know, at home. Did you take advantage of Thanksgiving, though, at least? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you went all out with, as far as turkey and... Yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, uh, you know, me, me being a heavyweight and not really needing to cut weight, um, you know, I can, I can have those cheap meals here, here and there, you know, so... Uh, that, that's an important fact that you mentioned, Katie, about family. Uh, as you know, we the holiday season, and like your wife said, you decided to celebrate Christmas. It, it takes a strong woman to stand behind you. It does, you know, the stuff that we go through, not just for the fight, I mean, but, you know, every day in training, um, it is hard, you know, it is hard, and um, I'm, I'm definitely, you know, blessed in having my wife Michelle, you know, behind me, and uh, it's just 
great thing, you know, to have that support, to knowing that, you know, someone else is, is covered for you, or, you know, you, they just have your back, so. And you have a daughter. I know last time you she was, she, she, she was probably walking already now. Yeah, yeah, like, um, last time we came, I think she was around one and a half or one, now she's three. Yeah, she's, 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 a, she's a, she just passed the third, terrible too. Yeah, she's yeah, yeah. So does she also go on with you with the family when you go to the fights? Not, not to the fights. Um, we're not, we're not letting her watch fights yet, you know. I think she gets a little older, we can talk to her about it, and then, you know, kind of tell her what I, what, she knows what I do, so, but we don't want her to watch actual fight live, you know, or have to watch, watch me. Like that. How come? Um, you know, I think she's a little young now, or she won't really understand it, you know, what, what am I doing out there, she's me bleeding. I think it'll be, it'll be kind of traumatizing. So um, we don't take it to the fights itself, but uh, I, you know, to the gym. I go to the gym, and sometimes my wife and, and our baby will, will, will go in there and just kind of, you know, watch me work out. So you know what Well, women's mixed martial arts, it's uh, it's been picking up minute by minute. If she, if your daughter were to say, Dad, I want to be a fighter, be a supporter. She, yeah, she. I mean, anything she wants to do in life, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be she wants to fight, then maybe that's what she wants to do. What is your opinion on women's big martial arts? You know, we, we haven't really heard from that inside. It's big enough there's a lot of females that are, that are just doing phenomenal stuff inside yeah. the cage. And, you know, you're not, we always talk about it. I, I, I don't know about you, but I've never seen a boring women's mixed martial arts fight. Like yeah, that. yeah. They, um, you know, yeah, women's mixed martial arts, I mean, it's not boring. They go out there, they, you know, they, the intensity kind of picks up. You know, I love them. They, they're out there to, to beat each other up really bad. And, uh, I think it's, I mean, I'm, I've always been a fan of them. You know, always. Any favorites? No, just any good matchups is just good, you know. But no, no favorites. None at all. No, no. Well, Kane, uh, so here you are in Miami. You're gonna, you're all here doing some uh, media tours. Tell me about the media tours. Do you, like, do you honestly like doing the media tours? You Talking know, to the folks. What is it in particular that you look forward to in an interview? You know, sometimes they're very, Stringent on time, you know, they're not having this conversation over I'm very yeah, relaxing, yeah. Going on their time. So how, how was this ever the experience? You know, um, it's not my favorite, but I know now that it's part of the job, you know, and um, I mean, it's, it is what it is, you know, it's uh, going out here, promoting the fight, um, you know, yeah, sitting down, some some more casual, some interviews are more casual than others, you know, but uh, it's all, it's mainly the same questions, you know. And, well, I mean, what else can you ask about the play coming out of the So, um, it's, I mean, it's easy, you know. Have you ever find yourself going into the studio and you have to put the makeup in the whole nine yard and the lighting? I probably made it before, yeah. T tell me about this. Like, I sometimes got to wear makeup myself. Yeah. And it's like, really? Do I really have to do this? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I guess if you have blemishes or whatever, I mean, they got their, they got to cover it up. I don't know, you know, it's for TV, so. Yeah, they they put makeup on me before, and um, definitely could take it off after that. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's no big deal. Don't you find yourself sometimes though that when you take off your shirt, you're like, what the heck, I have some makeup <laughs> on my shirt. Uh, Especially if you go to the I gym. No, I haven't taken, I haven't kept <laughs> it on that long. So after I'm done with the interview, I wipe it off. You yeah, I mean, because like I've had the, the chance, you know, the, when I go to the gym. And I had the makeup on, and I just kind of rubbed my face in okay. the shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you gotta kind of hide it because yeah, you're in the gym. You know, you're surrounded by these men. You're like, hey, what the heck is going on, guy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, just for me, it's just far right away. As soon as I get done, take it off. They, I try not to get it everywhere. Well, uh, Kane, I don't want to take too much time out of you. Anything that you'd like to say, man? That uh, they're gonna check you out December 29th. Just uh, what? Two, three days before the New Year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just um, you know, thank you to everybody, you know, uh, supporting me, and I'm gonna get that belt back, you know, for for, for everybody out there. Thank you. And Kane, for the Latinos that are here in Miami, uh, watching you and support you, uh, you're Mexican, but you know we're Latinos, but we support no matter where you're from. Um, thank you. And and have you had a chance when you walk out here, uh, any little folks say, hey Kane, I'm supporting you, and, and they talk to you in Spanish? Yeah, you know they. Um, yeah, you know, I've, uh, it seems like anywhere I walk, yeah, there's people coming up to me, and uh, you know, and it's uh, it's just a good thing, you know, knowing that the people out there are watching what you're doing, following you, and uh, it's cool, you know, it, it definitely kind of pushes you forward to keep training harder, you know, because 
there's people out there watching. You definitely want to, you know, have them on your side. So. One more question before I let you go. Arizona State, where you uh, wrestle. Uh, some of these folks, they went to your camp where you're training right now. Uh, and we have one here particularly that, that is a fine team. South Florida, his name is Patrick Williams. Yeah, yeah. Have you have you spoken to them? Have you some some tips? I've uh I've uh, been on the phone with him a couple times here and there. He told me he, he wanted to start fighting and uh, yeah he was on the same team that I was on, you know, with me, uh, Ryan Bader, CB Dalloway, Aaron Simpson, Eric Black, you know, all those guys are fighting now too. So he was you know, he, he was there also. So uh, you know, definitely just push forward. I mean he has you know, he definitely has the tools physically to do it. You guys have like a little reunion on that team, that wrestling team, because it was a good team right here. You know, um, most of the guys are in Arizona right now, so every now and then I'll go, yeah, I definitely go to Arizona and, you know, see all those guys, catch up again, so it's always good. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Good Thank luck, you. Man. Good luck, and uh, we're representing the Hispanic team. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.